G'day folks, well today we're working on this Victor Vortex lawnmower. Um, it's been sitting under this tree here for at least seven or eight years, um, quite a long time. I'd, I'd have to work out exactly how long, but it's at least seven years. So, um, anyway, this is sort of a viewer request. So, anyway, I'll get it out of here and um, see what we can do with it. Alright, so I just stopped on the way back down to the house. Um, yes, it'll need cleaning after I take the cover off. But I think a quick pressure wash now will make less mess down in the workshop. Alright, so what we've done so far is just giving it a really quick clean. Um, hopefully this top cover comes off with minimal fuss. Um, it's not in the greatest of condition top cover. Back. Underneath here is a pretty standard two stroke power torque engine with a couple of different shrouds. Otherwise, it's a pretty standard engine. Um, oh, yeah, gotta take this little part out as well. Trim, I suppose you could call it. So the main idea here is I'll um, quickly redo the starter. I'll just drop it in diesel to lube the string up and replace the spring, um, string. And then probably just clean the carb and see if it wants to cheat to life. Now we've got this cover off, we'll just go back up the back and give it a real quick pressure clean just to get the excess crap out of there and we'll carry on. Starter for a minute. So, oh, that bolt was loose. Huh, so was that one. So it would have been sucking a bit of air in there. Hopefully, the seals are alright. I haven't got a spare seal at the moment, so, oh, that was loose as well. Excellent. I'm going to take this heat shroud off. Hopefully, it's not, the screws aren't rusted on. That one isn't. I'll just sit those screws down the back here so I can find them again later. Um, you definitely need this um, 
aluminum cover with the big dress cowl that's on those things because otherwise the heat will go through it and melt it. So anyway, that's that out of the way. A little bit of crap in there, nothing too awful. All right, I'll just quickly take this screw out as well. What have we got? I mean, it's not that awful. Um, it could have been rebuilt at some stage. I can't remember what the um, age bracket of that Conrod is, but a little bit of black and soot in the bottom end, but. Seen plenty worse, so that should run. Uh, I've got to replace the decompressor, rebuild the carb, rebuild the starter, and we should be right to go. All right, start a rip. Stuff is awfully thick. Tracted very well, anyway. I like the slightly skinnier stuff. It hasn't given me any problems yet, so touch wood. Well, we've all put a different starter knob on that. I don't go much on that one, it's got a big hole straight through the middle, so what can happen, and it's got a pain in the neck when it does happen, is the whole knot just pulls straight through it. Right. Mm, that should be right. There we go. Let's put it back on. Alright. We're going to get started here. O-ring on. O-ring is somewhat damaged, I'm not replacing it today basically because I don't have one, or one that's any better. And this one's not getting sold, it's just going to go back out in the collection somewhere. It'd be good to see if it actually ran though. Alright, what's next? I suppose we might do this decompressor and why don't you just do the um, O ring on the carburetor and clean the fuel lines out and we'll see if it runs. Okay, our decompressor's out. Obviously had it, little plastic barbs missing, the valve itself was snapped off, just had it, um, clean up around the hole a bit, I've got this second hand one, it does what it's supposed to do, I'll just slip him in there. Tank's got water in it, yum. <coughs> okay. 
right. Well, we might start off by changing that O-ring in the carburetor, because it's just gonna leak anyway. Check for spark, then quickly clean this fuel tank out a bit. I might put it out in the sun now, just to um, draw the water out of it. And we'll give it a rip, eh? Take this carb plate off. Jet's clean, just got some very old oil on it, which is good. As with inside, very clean, which is awesome. So I'll just um, let's get this flow. This needle off to the side for a second. I'll just quickly um, use a little bit of spray to grease to clean this primer cap up and we'll slap it back together. No need to really mess around in there. All right. Nice and clean now. Get the jet back in. in first. Uh, I forgot to clean the float but it'll be alright, it's just a little bit extra oil. And that's all what seems to be. Okay. Make sure that's reasonably horizontal, the little line that's on the cap. Good enough. Alright, so, I think what would be best next is just getting a, getting the um, fuel tank. Might put these shrouds back on. And um, we'll just see what it does. I might try, check this spark plug quickly. And, because it doesn't look like a, um, Champion one or an NGK one, we'll, we'll make sure it's a good plug. Alright, so I changed that spark plug, got spark. Um, just basically putting everything back together now. So, I'll just start off with these shrouds, I suppose. Neighbours know on his lawns, of course. So, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure. This one goes on first. Like one with the washer will go over there. That way it's a little bit thicker. Trim up a new bit of fuel on for this. I'm just going to work out where I've placed it. There's the old bit. The new bit will probably stand on. Um, or not. Okay. Alright, back in a minute. I'm going to work out where I left it. I'll put it away. Anyway. Right, uh, we're still in the view. Yeah, we're kind of in view still. Cool. Probably should shut that fucking up. Now, I'm going to place the trim. Yeah, that's a good 
this part's actually quite rare. Usually they get thrown away. It's the bit that covers up the primer and the um, fuel tap. So I'm just going to work out. Tank's got a bit of a crack in it, and there's not much I can do about that. Um, it is a sort of a specialised fuel tank that I may try and get like the standard two stroke Victor one fitted in there in due course. I'm not in a hurry to sell this machine, so, but it has just split around the top. I'll just chuck the lid on for now and try and get this. Flaming little covering, so the fuel tank's going to be off. There we go. Why did that just snap in way too easily? Alright. Now, common sense would say you'd see if it'll start up before putting the top cover on, but I'm not feeling very common sensible today, so. Screwdriver, it's over there. Now, I've got to duck out in a second and get some two stroke fuel. It comes out, I believe it's in the ute. I used it the other day out on a job, so. But since then, I have used the ute for something else. Could well be in the carport. Gonna, oh yeah, I can see it now. So we've got some two stroke there. I got a feeling this thing will go anyway. Didn't have a lot wrong with it. it wasn't filthy inside. A little bit of water in the fuel tank. Fuel tap will probably leak. So I'll replace both those at the same time when the time comes. Probably won't. I'll end up selling this to another collector down the track and <laughs> won't have done anything. It's sat that long up the back, it's got flat spots on the tyres. Alright. Go and get some fuel. leaks a bit. As you know, someone chewed it. if this cantankerous OP will start.
there you have it, beautiful old Victor Vortex, just needs a catcher. Now with its catcher, um, looking for a bit more work, so I might use it around, around the place a little bit myself for a while. Um, obviously still needs that new fuel tank, maybe a tap, but all in all, not bad for 30 odd years old. Thanks for watching.